Okay, so the time has come for me to pull this motor out. Now I'm going to start by depressurizing the fuel system. I'm going to turn the car over and I'm going to attempt to unplug the, uh, the plug that's on top of the fuel tank or the fuel pump which is in the tank. But uh, yeah, here goes. Okay, so now that that's done, I guess I can go ahead and um, start unbolting the unnecessary things, which is pretty much everything now. Um, I did, uh, as you can see, the car's jacked up. I've taken the wheels off, it's on jack stands, and I did leave the jack under there as well. A little bit paranoid. What a fucking mess. Um, yeah, most of this is held on by zip ties. The Ziploc bags again would be a good idea. Yeah. Alright, put these away. So now I think I'm going to get stuck into all the uh, things in this area. I wired up LEDs a long time ago. The kind of LEDs that go underneath the car and across the front of the uh, engine and out the grill. Not one of my proudest moments. And I think I might get rid of the evidence tonight. My uh, windshield wiper tray isn't held on very well. As a matter of fact, it's only held on by the windshield wipers themselves. Um, chuck that somewhere. Alright, so when you're unplugging uh, the loom, you'll come to this one that's uh, right at the back. And I think that it's like right just under the crank and to like the left, maybe 30 degrees. Um, it'll be this, this plug here, if you can see. Um, the way that comes off is this white thing pulls down. Now that can be uh, very hard to see that white thing and you'd expect um, like one of the other ones where you just push down a, a little tab and it releases it. But now this one, you've got to slide this white thing down. So just a little heads up with that when you get to it. Okay, so I've jumped ahead a fair bit. Um, not really, I guess. Uh, after I took the radiator out, I, um, I started unplugging all my vacuum lines from the, um, the intake and the throttle body or whatever lines went to the throttle body um, and I took off the intake um, I won't be using it uh, yet I need to do some uh, clearancing with the fuel rail that I want to use also I'm going to have to cut down my uh, valve cover I thought I got it to work with the new fuel fittings but I didn't so um, yeah I'm going to have to adjust that a little bit um, other than that I've just started taking off the engine loom most of it's unplugged it's into the gearbox now, which I'm going to um, drain the oil out of. Uh, the bolt you'll be looking for is that big fella there. That one there, it's 24mm. Um, a socket would be uh, ideal especially if you're uh, changing it and you don't want to rip everything apart. I, uh, 
I only had this on hand. So um, you can see it's quite tricky. There's not a lot of space in there, but um, I got enough on it to uh, get it loose. And uh, yep, I'll try and drain it now while I'm rolling. The uh, the drain plug is that big one there. Uh, got a bucket ready. I won't put the bucket on the otherwise I won't be able to get this big bloody wrench in there. Looks like I'm doing it one-handed. Okay, I might just, actually, I'm just going to try and crack it. I've got it sitting on there, and um, I'm just going to give it a little tap and see if it loosens it. Could just do that, although I think the first tap did loosen it a little bit. <sighs> Might not have. Could have just been wishful thinking. No, it definitely loosened it. Alright. It's sort of dripping. It's getting ready. It wants to... It wants to get out of there. Oh, Jesus. Amateur. Anyway, that's that. Um, once that drains, I'll, I'll plug it back up. And... Um, Well, that's filthy. Um, I'll plug it back up and uh, yeah, try and take off these hub nuts and then remove the CVs.